Yo, 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 what's poppin'? Welcome to the Heat Check. I am Jock Slade, and we've got a packed week of sneaker releases for you to check out, including something from Mischief that I am kinda into and an OG that deserves more love. All right, let's start with one of our picks of the week. It's the Notri Salmon XT4 on August 25th. So. At first glance, this looks like another Solomon collab that is sure to be a hit among the sneaker hipster crowd, even though the storytelling appears to be minimal. And I was gonna agree with that until I read an article on this release from British GQ. It says that the gradient mesh base that goes from cream white to green is actually a nod to the fact that even though Solomons are famous for being hiking shoes, Notri knows that most people who pick these up will not be hiking in them anytime soon. In other words, this is a subtle commentary on the current state of sneaker culture and how people who buy these kicks don't actually use them for their intended purpose. Or maybe it's just an elaborate troll or in joke for the folks at Notri. Either way, I appreciate the extra effort. By the way, shout out to friend of the program, Oster Castillo, for these dope ass images of the sneakers in the woods. So we have a bunch of Yeezy things coming down the line. The Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Static, that's on the 21st for 230. The 350 V2 MX Dark Salt, that's gonna be on the 21st for 230. The Yeezy Boost 700 Utility Black on the 21st for 260. And then we have the 350 V2 Hyperspace um, for 230 as well. Now, the 350 has never been a favorite of mine, but for some reason, this colorway appeals to me. Will I pick up a pair? Probably not, but I do like it. Okay, a couple of joints from Nike. Nike Air Force One Low, Sequoia, that's gonna be on the 22nd for 140. The Nike Air Humera, oil green, that's from E160. The women's Nike Zoom Vermero 5, pink foam, AKA Barbie, that's gonna be 160. The Nike Dunk Low Corduroy, that's gonna be 110. The women's Nike Shock TL, that's gonna be on the 22nd for 170. Okay, this next one. I didn't like the original, but I have to admit that this one caught my eye, the Mischief AC2 slide on the 22nd for 115. As weird as the inspiration for this one is, I still dig it. I am going to try and get my hands on these, and if I do, I'll do an unboxing here on the channel. It's an interesting standal that I never expected, but I kinda like it. All right, we have the Air Jordan 1 KO Low Bread. Those are on the 23rd for 120. The Air Max 1 Bronze is gonna be 150. We have the Union Los Angeles Air Jordan 1 SP and Beffy's Beauty Supply Air Jordan 1 High Elevate Summer of 96. These are gonna be on the 24th for Union and then they'll be on the 26th for Sneakers. They're gonna be 200 bucks. Look, I know, I know. I've already featured this release on the Heat Check when this was still a Hard Pass segment. By the way, don't forget to check out and subscribe to the new Hard Pass channel right here. Anyways. The recent drop of official images and backstory means we finally get the origins of both pairs, and it turns out it's a love story. In order to learn more about Union co-founders Chris Gibbs and Beth Burkett, we have to go way back to the summer of 1996 when their love first blossomed. Pretty impressive that these two have grown so much since the summer of 96, both in the community and the wider sneaker culture that they are able to tell their story on one of the most iconic sneakers ever made. Kind of makes that sneaker birthday cake you commissioned for your sneakerhead significant other not look so cool in hindsight, huh? Okay, here's a list of sneakers that you might want to add to your collection. The V Friends Reebok Classic Nylon that's gonna be on the 24th for 90 bucks. The Puma Palermo leather that's gonna be in black on the 24th for 90. The Puma Palermo leather that's gonna be in white the same day for 90 bucks. The Nike Terminator Low Georgetown, that's gonna be 120. The women's Nike Dunk Low Vintage Navy, those are gonna be 120. The Nike SB Dunk Low Orange and Emerald Rise, those are gonna be on the 25th for 110. The Nike Air Force One Low West Indies on the 25th for 140. And look, 90s era basketball sneakers are nearly undefeated. And this next one is a heavyweight. The Nike Air Max 2 CB94 OG on the 25th for 170. Look, I know we all love Charles for the role that he has on TNT, but as a ball player, that man was a menace. Not a role model, but a menace. And his shoes, they were as classic as his game. I absolutely love this pair. Okay. Few more kicks. Nike Cortez 23 Bruce Lee on the 25th for 90 bucks. The women's Nike V2K Run in Summit White for 110. The women's Puma California Pro Frosty Pink on the 25th for 100 bucks. The social status Nike Mac Attack Social Currency, that's gonna be 140. The Air Jordan 1 Low OG Atmosphere Gray, that's gonna be 140. The Air Jordan 38 Fundamentals, that's gonna be on the 25th for 200 bucks. And you know the weirdest thing about this shoe? It's that no one is talking about it. It is really crazy to me how under the radar the marquee Jordan signature shoe is flying right now. It almost, it almost hurts my heart a little bit. 
Anyway, let's finish this up with some bangers. The Cost A6 Gel Light 3 OG Cane Vine. That's going to be on the 25th. That's going to be a China release. The Nike Dunk Low Oil Green on the 26th for 120. The Adidas Crazy One, aka the Kobe in Vapor Blue. Those are on the 26th for 150. The Puma Clyde Paris in Amber and Frosted Ivory. Those are going to cost you 120. The Women's Air Jordan 4 Frozen Moments on the 26th for 225. And then the actual pick of the week is the Nike Kobe 8 Pro Troll Halo. These are on the 23rd for 180. The highest profile Nike Kobe release since Vanessa Bryant and the Bryant estate renewed their partnership with Nike is this new yearly release taking place on the late Kobe Bryant's birthday every August 23rd. Nike will release a Kobe Pro Troll Halo, which will be a pure white colorway. The other features include an embroidered swoosh, a reworked tongue, and a drop-in Nike React cushioning. Now, the other big news coming out of this release is the availability of the shoes in kids' sizes. One of the big sticking points by Vanessa was making sure the shoes will be available for all hoopers. So this is a big deal and one that will hopefully please Kobe fans throughout the world. Time will tell if this is actually the jumping off point of a Kobe brand or just the latest drop that will frustrate everybody. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. Peace.